The day today is Wednesday, July 22nd, and this is the day that I found out I'm basically a superhero. Let me prove it. I've just transferred some of my energy into this drill and as you can see I've given power to something that is dead so clearly I'm a superhero Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy OG Dan back again with another video. And before we start off with the backpack review, I do want to quick say one thing. My hair is freaking long. I haven't cut my hair since December. And look at this. This is the front, this is the back. It's so long. So here's what we're gonna do. 1,000 subscribers, I'm getting a haircut. So go ahead, go down right now, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button while you're down there, you might as well. And get this channel to 1,000 subscribers, get us monetized so I can start bringing better content and better stuff to you, and we'll finally get this haircut, okay? It's that simple. All right, anyways, on with the video. Even the dogs are interrupting me now, I swear. Bruh, do you mind? Thank you. So now let's get on to the video and the backpack review of the Nike RPM Skateboard Backpack. Okay you guys, and here is the backpack in itself. This is what it looks like. I got the desert camo color. This is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. So let's quick go over the exterior of the backpack here. As you can see on the front of it, it's got a lot of these little loops all over it. These are great for hanging little things. So I got a couple S clips on here. I have one over on the water bottle pocket where I hooked a mini pocket knife and then some hair clips. Cause you know, again, need that haircut. And then on the other side, I got this little lock here where I just use it for when I go to the gym and whatnot. So it's pretty nice. It's cool to hang things on here. I'm pretty sure there's also these little pouches you can buy. They're like military grade, so you can hook them on these loops here. And then you can add extra storage to it if you really wanted to. Uh, I got this cool little chest pin up here. But yeah, those are pretty cool. And then right next to those, we got these huge big straps right here. And these are the skateboard straps. And we'll demonstrate those in a little bit. But moving to the sides here, as you can see, we have a water bottle pocket. I currently have my Minnesota water bottle in it. But these water bottle pockets are really big. They're really nice. This is a 32 ounce water bottle and it fits no problem. Could probably fit a little big, bigger of one in there if you really wanted. And then on the other side, we have the exact same thing with the water bottle pocket. Same size, same deal. Flipping it around to the back, you see we got the straps here. And we got the words Nike SB printed on the back of the backpack. Now these straps aren't super padded, but when you wear it, you don't really notice it. It feels great, really nice. The only thing that I don't necessarily like so much about the straps is on the top here. They seem a little bit too close together for my shoulders. They kind of rub against my neck, but maybe that's just because I'm a skinny boy and I need to get muscular. That's probably it, honestly. And then on the bottom of the straps here, you see we got this little sternum strap. It's really helpful for when your backpack's a little heavier or when you're doing tricks and riding it on a skateboard as it's meant to be doing because then it doesn't jostle around as much. So really nice. Straps are adjustable on the bottom here. Everything works just as it's supposed to and they're really good. So let's get into some of the pockets now. And I'm gonna take my water bottle out so we can talk about these water bottle pockets. So aside from just the pocket where the water bottle goes, which is really good as I mentioned, there's these little zippers on the outside of the pocket that actually unzip and it gives you a whole little pocket right outside of the water bottle pocket to store stuff. So on the one by my water bottle, I have a mini portable charger with a charging bracelet. On the other side, I have a bandana and some sunglasses I keep in there so it can fit some pretty big items. It's a cool little thing to add some extra storage to a backpack, you know. It's a really cool idea to add it outside of the water bottle pocket. All right, moving to the next pocket. This is gonna be your main pocket. Let's unzip this. It kind of, it's kind of a half zip, maybe more like three fifths of the zip or something, but it pulls down like this, and this is your main compartment. So right away, as you can see up here, you've got this mini little pouch pocket. It's only about as big as where my hand is right now, so it's about half the size of the backpack. And it just so happens to perfectly fit my 10 and a half inch 
iPad Pro, which I use to make thumbnails and other drawing things. So if you have an iPad and you want to put it in here, it probably won't fit the 11 inch one, but it will definitely fit the 10 and a half or anything smaller just perfectly. Or you can put your phone in there. You can put really whatever you want, a small notebook. It's a really cool pocket for that. And then opposite to that, we have this little mesh pocket here, which it's probably the cheapest zipper on the bag, to be honest, but it does its job. It unzips. And in here I keep my longboard sliding gloves and I also keep a mini tripod and some pens and pencils. So pretty big storage, really nice to have, and it's a good pocket to have on the backpack. Underneath that, I keep this little divider thing, which I've showcased in my backpack skateboarder EDC carry video. So if you wanna watch that, link will be over here. And then under that, I have this little tripod. It can definitely fit way more stuff. I just like to carry a little lighter, otherwise it gets a little too heavy for me, but that's what we got going on in the main pocket here. And now let's go on to the back pocket. So there's a pocket right above that, which is just a laptop compartment. It's a half zip, which I think is perfectly fine. Doesn't need to go any further. And in here, I keep my laptop, which is a MacBook Pro 2015. Pretty cool sticker job if I do say so myself. And then I also keep a battery bank in here. And this is the really cool part that I want to talk about. I haven't seen this in any videos online, but if you look here on the laptop pocket, there's this little tiny hole on the left side that actually is a pass-through that goes into the main compartment here. So what you can do with this is you can put a portable charger in either pocket, I put it in the laptop pocket, and you can run the cable to the other main pocket and then you can charge your things in either or pocket. What I do is I put my charging bank in the laptop spot, run the cable through, and then I can charge either my phone in here, my iPad, or any other camera stuff that I have. So it's a really cool thing. The only thing I wish is that there was a pass-through to go outside of the bag, but hey, I mean, I'll take anything I can get, and I think this is really cool. So then you don't have cables going all over your backpack, it's just all internalized. And it's a really cool feature that I don't think a lot of people really mentioned on the internet when I was looking up this backpack. So that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and put my laptop back in the back pocket. And now there's one more pocket on the bag and it's right here on the back. It's actually right above the handle and next to the strap. So it's kind of your secret pocket. Open that up and it's not as big as the pocket where I have my iPad held, but it's, it's fairly big and it's actually got the soft fluffy material for like protecting electronics. And in here I keep my wallet, my AirPods, and my chapstick and sometimes I'll throw my phone in there if I don't have pockets and that's pretty much all the pockets of the bag it's a really nice bag to have and yeah I have no complaints with the pockets except for the fact that in the main pocket I wish they had a few more organizational spots you know like some pen loops or something but it's okay because I just put my mini organizer pack in there anyways so we're good on that we're good on that end now let's go over some of the other features that I like about the bag Number one, the zippers. So I've owned a previous Nike backpack before. I think it was a Nike Elite or something like that. The ones that have the air bubbles and the straps, but I was not impressed with the zippers at all. And actually about eight months after I bought it, the zippers broke and it just sucked. Now the zippers on this backpack, they actually feel a lot nicer and they feel a little more high quality. There's only that one inside zipper that feels a little cheap, but the outside ones feel really nice. They feel stable. The zippers look nice and good. So I'll definitely update this, probably put an edit in the comment section, you know, a year from now, letting you guys know how it held up or maybe I'll make an update video if something bad happens but so far the zippers feel great and I don't think they're gonna be a problem for you guys the next thing that I really like obviously as a longboarder and skateboarder are these skateboard straps on the front so these are really great and I usually use them to carry my cruiser board but actually I have never tried carrying my longboard on this so we're gonna try that right now live so let me go grab my longboard Alright, so we grabbed the longboard. As you can see, this thing is massive, so it's going to look ridiculous, but that's not the point here. That is not the point here. The point here is to see if it's possible. Take your straps, completely remove them, and then take your board and lay it right here on the backpack. Loop the straps back through and tighten it down. It looks like the straps can fit, so we're looking good so far. Definitely a tighter fit on the top strap. Okay, let's see how this works. Obviously looks ridiculous, but that's not the point here. Hey, how about that? Check it out, guys. Longboard attached. Not moving around. It's secure. 
Yo, I didn't think this would work, but oh my god, this is amazing. This backpack is even better than I thought. What the freak? That's it right there. If you're a longboarder and you need a backpack, get this thing. Oh my gosh. Like what? So clearly guys, you can fit a longboard on this. You can also fit a cruiser board, which I usually put on this. And you can also put a regular skateboard. So any boards you want, they're gonna be able to fit on the backpack and you're gonna have a good time. Now, before we conclude this review, we're gonna talk about one more thing on the backpack. And that is towards the bottom here, there are these two little clips and straps. And these things are super useful and they're not on a lot of bags. One really cool use for these is you can actually put a beach towel or something on the bottom of the bag and then you can longboard to the beach or something and you got your towel right on the bottom of the bag. Another thing, if you have a really, really small sleeping bag, it could possibly fit on here. Or if you had a, a hammock, you could probably hook the hammock bag in here. And a really cool use for me that I found, since I'm a YouTuber and filmmaker, I take my large Amazon tripod and it actually hooks right in here on the bottom. And now I can take my full size, you know, 50 inch long tripod with me wherever I go skateboard around and it's gonna be awesome so if you're a filmmaker like me this bag would honestly be just as good for you as it would be for a skateboarder so seriously you guys got to check this bag out I can't say enough good about this bag my only hope is that the durability lasts and what it feels like this canvas material that it's made out of it feels like it's gonna last which is what I'm hoping for but again I'll update you guys in the future if anything bad happens so that's about it for the review guys. I hope you enjoyed the review and like the backpack. This thing is seriously awesome. I'm going to be bringing it everywhere. It can fit any kind of board you want on it. You can put all kinds of stuff in it. Any camera gear, school gear, whatever. I'd recommend this for college kids, high school kids, skateboarders, filmmakers, literally anybody who needs a cool backpack. This thing is going to work for you. And I seriously encourage you to check it out. I got this one on eBay because the camel color they don't sell on Nike. So I got this one for about $78 but you can find them anywhere from $70 to $90, depending on the colors and where you buy it. But honestly, assuming that the quality and the durability of the backpack keeps up over time, it's definitely gonna be worth the price. Definitely check it out and let me know if you decide to get it. And if you have any other questions about it, drop them in the comments and I'll answer within the day, I hope. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe so I can get a haircut. And also, can somebody please tell me why this gnome is wearing a pepper on his head? I really don't know and I need to know. It's really important. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. I make videos every Wednesdays and Saturdays, so next video is going to be on Saturday. Peace out, have a good time. I'll see you in the next one.